you know, being September 11th, I think it's a day for us all to reflect and remember um, the horrible tragedy that happened. But I also think it's an opportunity for us to have a real discussion, um, to talk about, you know, not just what happened that day, but where we are as a country. You know, right after 9-11, we decided to go into Afghanistan. And, you know, we've seen, obviously, since then, going into Iraq and really getting involved in the Middle East and thinking that policing the world and nation building um, would be the answer to a lot of these problems. But we're hitting a point where individuals who were born after 9-11 are now over in the Middle East fighting for our country in Afghanistan. And what for? I mean, let's really ask the hard-hitting questions here. Do we really think that we should be continuing the nation build, that we should continue to be the policemen of the world? We've lost thousands of troops. Hundreds of thousands of civilians have now died in the Middle East. Isn't it time for us to bring the troops home? Isn't it time for us to have the courage to say that this perpetual war is not the answer? It's not constitutional. We're $22 trillion in debt. We're broke. We can't afford it. And we've got to start to talk about the moral case, to think that we can spread ourselves so thin as a nation, to think that we can ask the men and women in uniform, is this what you signed up to do? To go over there and police the streets? No, you signed up to fight wars, win them, and come home. And so I think Americans all across the country on this September 11th, we should stand firm, we should stand united, and we should say, let's bring the troops home.